Hey everyone, Doug here with Life is Shirty. Uh, it's been a while, but I'm going to do a uh, sales update update today. Uh, my sales have been kind of slow lately. Uh, I think it's really because I had a really good month last month. Uh, mixed in some of the vintage t-shirts that I sold for the friend of ours. Uh, and a couple of other good finds that I had. Uh, really kind of elevated my sales. Uh, like the cell phones and stuff. So uh, this isn't all, you know... Even though it says 7.7 percent down in the red, it isn't all bad, uh, but it has been a little bit slower than usual. I have done 140 dollars today, and I did 146 dollars yesterday, uh, and today's still not over. So hopefully, I get another sell in there, bump it up a little bit more. Uh, but it's been three or four weeks since I've done a sales update, so I just want to check in with you guys, and uh, I hope your sales are going well. And I'm going to go over a few items uh, that I sold over the last few weeks and then at the end of this video I'm going to show you I went to the thrift store today for the first time in a couple of weeks and uh, I got some pretty nice finds uh, and I want to show them to you um, also the reason I'm not thrifting as much anymore I'm trying to downsize a little bit uh, just an announcement uh, I want to get um, I'm moving all of my vintage t-shirts over to Etsy um, I haven't moved a lot over there but I've moved some uh, I'm moving just a little bit at a time, and uh, <clears throat> that will be Life is Shirty on Etsy, and I don't know if I'm going to keep my eBay Life is Shirty, because I'm doing a, a little bit more than just than just shirts here, you know, it's kind of changed, so Etsy will be where I can um, keep my name Life is Shirty and keep it true to what Life is Shirty was all about, and this can kind of be a little bit of everything, um, but you know, that's just brainstorming out loud, I haven't... I haven't decided if I'm going to change the name of my eBay store or not, but regardless, I'm still going to be here, still going to be showing you sales. Uh, that's just something I want to do uh, coming up here in the near future. Uh, but moving right along, we can get to uh, the first sale. And here, uh, of course, this is a brand uh, you always hear me talk about. I find a lot of this in the South here in Memphis, so um, it's good for me, I guess. So this is a Vineyard Vines. It's called a Shep Shirt. Uh, half zip sweatshirt and it's got camo on the shoulders real popular uh, not a lot of them on eBay just a few so uh, I was able to sell this one for $59.99 plus free shipping uh, and I think I paid like six bucks for uh, the sweatshirt so pretty good flip there and I put it in a first uh, put it in a padded uh, flat rate uh, mailer I uh, like the bubble mailer so it costs six ten to ship it. Uh, so good return there. Got a few vineyard vines on here today, actually. I got them set up here in a row so we can just look at them. So like I said, vineyard vines is a, a brand you always want to pick up, regardless if it's in good condition or not. And I'll show you what I mean by that in a minute. So uh, as you can see, I've been playing around with my pictures too. I'm going outside some, and I'm putting them on my fence. And uh, I like how some of them turn out. Uh, like this one so uh, this was a nice shirt blue and white striped uh, vineyard vines uh, I started it at 99 cents simply because I didn't want to sit it out there for a certain price and wait on it I knew this would be sold in seven days for at least twenty dollars or more and it ended up selling for thirty one dollars plus three ninety nine shipping and the buyer paid right away and I think I paid uh, I might have paid three dollars for this polo shirt. Here's another Vineyard Vines. Uh, I have concrete floors in one of my room, uh, like the original concrete floors. We plan on redoing the floors. That's why you see this background. But I thought it made it look a little rustic, so I'm trying it out a little bit. Uh, so Vineyard Vines long sleeve shirt. I did. Um, I didn't know how the t-shirt would do. I know the polos do really well. So I did put this on a buy it now price for $24.99 plus $3.99 shipping. Uh, and it sold for that. And I think I got this $5.99 on a half off day. So I think I paid $3 for the shirt. <clears throat> Vineyard Vines once again. Uh, and to my point to where no matter if it's in good shape, bad shape, or whatever, um, this had a stain on it. I took a close-up picture of the stain. Uh, you can see the stain in every picture that I took. I noted that it had a stain. 
uh, in the description and I put it at a 99 cent opening bid and in seven days it was sold for $23 23 bids plus 399 shipping and again I think I may have paid three dollars for this polo shirt as well so vineyard vines vineyard vines vineyard vines so here's a brand that uh, I haven't sold a lot but my girlfriend has sold quite a bit she does women's clothes so uh, my girlfriend got really excited one day she ran across about 10 flax linen long sleeve uh, shirts they were all women's shirts I thought it was a woman's brand um, so I one day uh, about three or four weeks ago ran across about six or seven flax shirts myself and uh, one of them was a woman so I gave it to my girlfriend so she could put in her store and the rest of them I listed on my site and my store and um, I paid three dollars a piece for these and I have them all up and for sale $29.99 plus free shipping and so far I've sold two here's the first one let's get a good look at the tag it's real big you can't miss it really and they have these little sayings on them too on the tag I am great people are terrific life is wonderful some of them say different things uh, very loose fitting shirts so this one sold for $29.99 and so did this one even though the collars a little crinkled I even uh, disclose that in the description um, so here's the tag again I am the worthiness of spirit whatever that means so there you go two flat shirts all for $29.99 a piece I bought six of them at $3.99 a piece gave one to my girlfriend and I'm selling the rest so that looks like it's gonna be a good uh, return for me so remember flax if you see it out there um, yeah so those are doing well next we have a vintage Reebok windbreaker um, I love these because these are jackets that people don't really think about and they may give them up or walk right past them uh, but there's still a huge market for the the 90s windbreakers so um, always be on the lookout for these this one sold full asking price $29.99 plus $3.99 shipping um, it took a little while to sell but now that it's getting closer to fall that's when it sold so it kind of sat around in the spring and summer and um, it finally sold so a good return there and those these are always cheap too always real cheap like $3.99 I've seen them to $2.99 $4.99 and <clears throat> I think I got this one on a half off day as well next you've heard me talk about uh, blank vintage t-shirts and here's an example of one right here this is uh, I mean if you're just now getting into vintage vintage t-shirts uh, this is pretty much your beginner tag right here screen stars <laughs> uh, is you know huge in the vintage world and it's easy to spot this tag so if you see a screen stars tag you know you've got a vintage t-shirt it's gonna be mid 90s and you know screen stars they, they look different in the 80s I think they're white in the 80s cream colored in the early 80s late 70s so uh, screen stars is one you need to look out for I even noted there was some paint I put a penny beside it to show how big the stain was this person didn't care paid $19.99 plus free shipping for this plain blank vintage 90s screen stars t-shirt so uh, look out for those I think I put another screen stars right beside it so we could look at this one as well as you can see I'm trying different things with pictures and colors kind of off on this one but didn't matter this person paid $19.99 uh, plus free shipping and I noted there was a defect and took a picture of it it's, it was kind of hard to see but I did explain that there was a very light stain on the t-shirt um, so they pay $19.99 plus free shipping for a plain, another plain Screen Stars uh, vintage t-shirt. And you can get those for a dollar or two. Usually I get them for a dollar on half off day. 
Uh, next, this one sat around kind of a long time. I, I think I had it priced at $39.99 for a while. That's a Jack Daniels, vintage Jack Daniels t-shirt from 1989. I paid a dollar for it. Um, so $24.99, still a good return. Still had the original tag on it. So <laughs> I eventually put it down for what it sold for, what the price was on the tag. So uh, I had it as high as $39.99. I uh, lowered the price and it finally sold. Full asking price, $24.99. I think I've had this shirt almost a year. Like I couldn't believe it lasted so long. So, uh, But still paid a dollar for it. Good return there. Always look for your dates. Always look for them. If it's 90, 90s or below, you know, grab it if it's got some subject matter like whiskey. Uh, next, we had a good sell here. Um, I found this t-shirt on a half off day as well. I paid a dollar for this t-shirt. Uh, it's from the 80s. It's 50 cotton, 50 polyester. I went outside to take this picture and I, I love the way they turn out sometimes uh, on the grass with the sun shining down. I thought this picture turned out really great. I took a close picture of the graphics uh, so they could see there was no distress in it. So, uh, the Martin Luther King, I have a dream t-shirt, vintage 80, sold for $39.99, free shipping, and I paid a dollar for the shirt, so great return there. And next, I've always told you, if something has a date on it that, uh, you know, uh, uh, that is for a certain event or something, you know, so I know that Memphis Street Rods is a hot rod organization here in Memphis uh, for street car, like street car uh, racing is really big here in Memphis, and there's a motor park raceway here. Um, so I, I've heard of this group before, and it was uh, Shrimp Boil 1996, and I was uh, a little surprised at how quick it sold. I, I listed it, and um, it was in my eBay store for about five days when somebody uh, purchased it full asking price $21.99 plus $3.99 shipping and I think I paid a uh, $3 for this uh, particular long sleeve t-shirt so you know if it's got something like this especially you know hot rods street cars uh, you know those are those are good good subject matter for good sales for t-shirts Next is a brand I'm sure you're all familiar with, but just wanted to show you uh, that if you can get these at a good price, and I think I got these for $7.99. Um, they're actually my size, but I have another pair that I got at a thrift store one day. So <laughs> um, these are really uh, Clark's Wallabies, very trendy, very popular brand of shoes. Um, Sold for $29.99 plus $5.99 shipping. I was able to put them in the USPS shoe box and, um, and ship it for right around that cost. I, I believe I underestimated the shipping price. It was a little bit more than $5.99, but uh, still a good return. So Clark's Wallabies, if they're in good condition, even in bad condition, these will still sell. Um, look out for these, okay? And there you see the sole. Uh, I don't have a close up, but there we go. It says Clark's in cursive there. But very trendy brand of shoe. So here we go with vintage again. Vintage 90s. And this is a brand called Sahara. I'm sure if you've been thrifting, you've seen it. This one was in excellent condition. It had a... Uh, some golf clubs on the front. I'm sure this is like an emblem for a country club or uh, like a club where there's a golf course. Uh, there's several of them here in Memphis. And I'm sure this uh, is the logo for one of them. Which one I do not know. I tried to look it up. But regardless, Vintage Sahara 90s Polo. It sold for $20 plus $3.99 shipping. They paid full asking price. And so this is a brand uh, you might want to keep uh, keep an eye out for. There's 
there's this brand, there's um, Sahara, there's a brand called Lamo, that's L-A-M-O-D-E. Uh, it might not be pronounced Lamo, it might be pronounced something else. And there's a brand called Pickering, P-I-C-K-E-R-I-N-G. Uh, they're all very similar and uh, were very popular polos and golf shirts in the 90s. And they all sell for around this price. And I think I paid $2 uh, for this particular polo shirt. Next is a jersey I found. This was uh, Gridiron Greats. It's a Mitchell and Ness, I believe. No, just Crystal. Just Gridiron Greats. Gridiron Greats, uh, Alabama Crimson Tide. Uh, jersey, Sean Alexander from the 2000 Crimson Tide team. Um, I had this one priced all over the place. I think I had it priced as much as $100 or $120 at one point. Um, didn't get any bites on it. I priced it at $75 and I accepted an offer of $55 plus $610 to ship it and it fit perfectly in a flat rate uh, padded mailer. Um, and I think I may have paid up a little bit for this one. I think I paid, when I say paid up, I paid like $9.99 for the, for the jersey I think. But uh, $55 and the buyer paid shipping. That's excellent return there, so I'm happy with that. Wish I could have gotten more, but that's just how it goes. And last but not least, um, I don't know if I told you guys in my last video. I don't think I did, but I had this guy. We were at the Goodwill Benz uh, one day, and this guy walks up to me, and he hands me this case. It's a plastic case like a snap, a clear plastic hard case, and it snaps, and he hands it to me, and he's a Mexican guy, I guess he didn't speak English, and he just kind of looked at me and nodded his head and did this, I said, yeah, sure, and he gave it to me, and he gave me a thumbs up, and he turned around and walked off, well, it was full of uh, pocket knives, vintage pocket knives, so I looked them up, and they were uh, 10 cents a piece at the bins, and there were seven of them. So I paid 70 cents for these uh, pocket knives, and this one went for $31.15 plus free shipping. And I sold, uh, I sold five of them in a lot together for, and they sold, the whole lot went for a little over $8. Uh, but I charged shipping on that one. I charged $3.99 shipping on that one. And I still have one knife listed for $10. So that was just when you go to the bins and when you go to the thrift stores anywhere, but like especially the bins, you never know what you're going to find. And man, that's why I love doing this. This was a great find. I learned a lot about pocket knives that week when I was doing research. And that's something, you know, I've never looked at pocket knives when I go to yard sales or estate sales. I'll go right past them. And this particular one, you know, it was kind of a, a fun little win for me there. Um, I mean, the blades were not even in that great condition. I took good close-up pictures outside, so we got some uh, some good light on them. And uh, like I said, you never know what you're going to find, especially when you go in those bins. Man, those bins are fun. So if you have any of those in your area, I suggest trying them out. Uh, well, that's it for the, uh, the sales I'm going to show you. Uh, for the last few weeks, I've been uh, making some sales. Uh, but let me pause the video and I'm going to show you a few items that I picked up uh, today at the thrift store. I think I scored, um, had a nice score today. And uh, I've got one item I want to ask you guys about. Maybe some of you know about it. So uh, give me one second. Okay, guys. Hey, I'm back and uh, I've got my items over here. I picked up five items today. And the very first item I want to show you is one I'm not so sure about. Like, it, what I know is that uh, I know it's vintage, and I know it has great subject matter. If you've watched American Pickers, uh, oil sales, right? That's what Frank's always saying, oil sales. Well, uh, here we got this shirt. It is uh, Kindle Motor Oil. You see that there? Kindle Motor Oil. If you know anything about that, let me know. I've, I've, I've looked it up, and I, I know it's still a company, but I, it doesn't really tell about the history. And here's the tag. The tag is a Bonner tag. 
See if you can get that in there. Is it focused? The tag is Bonner. Um, it's Bonner Manufacturing Company Incorporated in Bonner Springs, Kansas. And I looked them up too, and I'm not even sure if they still exist. Uh, there's not a lot of information on it, but it's kind of uh, a heavy cotton. It's almost, it almost feels like a sweatshirt, but it's, it looks like a t-shirt, right? Well, it's got the, the bottom there. And just from my experience with vintage, uh, I'm pretty sure this is nothing newer than 1970s, sometime in the 70s. Uh, but this could dip back into the 60s. I'm not sure. So uh, if you've seen anything like this or that Bonner tag, or if you know how old, I know this this Kindle Motor Oils, that particular logo is one of the original logos for the company. That dates back to like 1920. I know this thing isn't that old, but um, if you know anything about uh, oil, oil companies like that, let me know because um, I'd love to hear it. I'm hoping I can, you know, I'm shooting high. I'm hoping for that shirt I can maybe uh, get $100 or more for it. So next, I picked up another blank, another vintage blank T-shirt. Uh, this is orange. I might be showing up red in the, in the camera, but this is orange, and it is jerseys. So the jerseys, 50-50 uh, heavyweight. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, the 50-50 heavyweight is 90s. The 80s jerseys tag looks real similar to this. I'm going to have to look it up. It could be 80s, but I think it's 90s. But as you've seen, Screen Stars, the blank shirts are selling for $20 a pop. So uh, I paid a dollar for this t-shirt. Oh, by the way, I paid uh, $2 for the Kindle Motor Oil shirt. So, uh, But this um, jerseys is um, just as likable for 90s and 80s as Screen Stars is. So um, Jerseys is still very much in business and you probably see those tags all the time. Uh, so 20 bucks for that one hopefully. Next is Diamond Supply Company. So if you're not familiar with Diamond Supply Company get familiar with it because this is a very urban brand. Uh, it was big in uh, the 90s is still big uh, you see the tag there uh, this is a crew neck sweatshirt and since it's uh, winter's coming up this should be an easy sell um, the diamond supply company um, very uh, urban brand um, it was big in the skateboarding world in the 90s uh, and still is so, but if you find the vintage stuff, I don't know the age on that one. I'll have to look into that. But uh, that is a minimum twenty dollars sweatshirt. So, and if it's if that tag is nineties, I'm still getting used to uh, Diamond Supply Company. I'm not sure of the age of the tags, but if that slips into the nineties, we're talking we're turning a twenty dollar crew neck sweatshirt into a thirty five or forty dollar crew neck sweatshirt. So, hope for the best on that one. Next is one of my better finds. My next two are the best finds that I had today. So I'm going to back up a little bit. So there's Polo and then there's Polo Sport. Polo Sport is considered the urban brand and uh, very, very big and especially 90s. So here you go, long sleeve, uh, almost, um, it's not quite as heavy as a, as a sweatshirt, but I guess I'm going to call it a crew neck sweatshirt. Um, but this is Polo Sport, and I'll let you see the tag. So uh, that tag, I believe, is a 90s tag. And if you're talking 90s Polo Sport, you're talking really good money. So I'm going to look this one up to see if there's um, anything out there like it and what it may have sold for. But I'm, uh, I'm thinking minimum $50 for this. And if you know me and you've heard me talk about high price stuff, if I think it's minimum $50, I'm probably going to price it for $70. So that's awesome find right there. Uh, I actually paid $11.99 for that one. Um, it was not half off or anything today. 
um, and it was priced appropriately um, at this particular thrift store. Now this one, the last one I'm going to show you, um, <clears throat> is brand new with tags, uh, Ralph Lauren polo jacket. So, and it's got a hood on it. See there? And it's got the tag on it still. Was uh, $145 originally, marked down to $99.98. Looks like it was returned to Bloomingdale's and somehow ended up in Salvation Army. So, I paid $20 for this. Why did I pay $20 for it? With the intention of wearing it myself. <laughs> so, uh, but I got it home and it didn't exactly fit the way I wanted it to. Uh, so I opted to go ahead and sell it. So that's what I'm doing. And I'm hoping to sell this for, uh, I don't know, $59.99 free shipping, $69.99 free shipping, one of the two, I'm gonna put it on there. But uh, I paid $20 for that. Uh, I did get another item, but I kept it for myself. It did fit um, Oakley. Oakley, the glasses, they do make clothing. And they had a very nice gray hooded, uh, like lightweight hoodie um, that I liked a lot. And it fit well, and so I kept it. And I only paid $5.99 for that. So today I think I spent $52 um, at the thrift store. And depending on the polo sport let's say it is worth fifty dollars or let's say sixty and then this is worth sixty there's one twenty right there and then we don't even know about the the uh, Kindle oil shirt yet I'm not sure about that and then um, the blank shirt twenty dollars diamond supply twenty dollars so fifty two dollars I know I paid up a little bit today but mainly because I wanted that jacket for myself and it just didn't work out but uh, all in all, a good day and uh, going to make some money there. So hopefully on my next sales video, I can show you where I sold some of these. But uh, thanks for tuning in and thanks for sticking by, uh, sticking it out to watch uh, the slight, very slim five item uh, haul that I had today. And, um, you know, keep picking, keep making those sales. Why don't you go ahead and click like for me, comment, subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. And uh, like I say, thanks for tuning in, guys. Have a good one.